Through Black History Month, we often look at the past and how black Mainers shaped our state today. One artist here in Maine is working to share black history by not only looking at the past, but also showing what we can expect to see in Maine's future. Here's New Center Maine's Jack Moment. My voice is loud. I think your voice sounds good. Passion. So a couple things to keep in mind. Makes you dig and deep. You are listening to Maine's Black Future. And when you dig deep, like Jerry, genius Black Edwards, your art from Nigeria to Bangor can take you yes. to some fascinating places. And, you know, there's a lot of interesting conversations about Black history. People still wonder if we need it. Is it is it necessary? All this kind of things. Artist, musician. Now, podcaster. Is that I knew that the state of Maine has actually a, like a brilliant history of black people being here. Genius is setting out to uncover not only Maine's black history, but its present day. Black history is right behind me. It's right behind me. You don't have to look any further than that. Uh, which I think, again, is a new idea for people when you're talking about history. Focusing on his podcast titled Maine's Black Future, Black Host, Black Guests, and Genius Black says focusing on black stories, looking at the past, present, and future. Where are you from? How have you been honored? What do you think, sense, and feel for Maine's black future? The guest today is former Bangor City Councilor Angela Okafor, the first person of color and immigrant to hold that title. She moved to Maine nearly 20 years ago as a lawyer from Nigeria, opening her own shop and a community leader. When you don't tell your story, other people will. And when other people do tell your story, you don't have a choice but to live in whatever paint they choose to put you in. She says not having a place where black Mainers can tell their stories leads to other people telling the stories for them. And that is part of why I support what Jerry does. It's an honor to have that opportunity, to have that space. But in a state with such few black people. I'm here to represent for all the ones that are here inside of Maine. Genius Black says there was pushback to just getting the name out there. Particularly the word black. Um, as you've seen, I haven't changed the name, and I have not gotten rid of the word black, and I won't be getting rid of he it. He wants people to know that this is black art, and that saying the word black should not be a bad thing or make people feel excluded. To me, saying black isn't negative, but if you instantly associate with something negative, again, that says something about you, right? To me... Black is, is powerful, black is resilient, black is thoughtful. In the state of Maine, black happens to be somewhat unique. From stories of Maine's past. There's been African American people in Maine for hundreds of years. And the future. What do you think, sense, and feel for Maine's black future? Oh, I see so much prosperity. Making sure that we know that black history in Maine is created every day. The truth is out here for us to see. That's why I don't want to leave people languishing in ignorance. That's what my podcast is about. In Portland, Jack Mulmud. Thank you. <laughs> New Center, Maine. Genius Black's podcast, Maine's Black Future, will be here in the future as it got some grant money and is currently being hosted by the Maine Monitor, a nonprofit newsroom.